uh, as I was telling Rick, I, uh, as a mathematician, I have been able to read about and observe and appreciate the role of mathematics in the history of culture. And there is no high culture without high mathematics. In our creation of the future, in our scientific research, in our uh, quest to obtain the most profit for the future from the psychedelic experience, uh, mathematics has an important role to, to play and especially amplified by computer graphics and so on. So that the, you know, the popular image and music that I would think of in the future would be based on algorithms, which is a code word for mathematics. And uh, um, the, ro the role of mathematics in, in computers then would be important in some sense in the creation of the future, in the furtherance of this particular project. So if this uh, mathematics is essential for this kind of creativity, then you're doomed to failure if you leave it out. Meanwhile, we live in a culture where mathematics has unfortunately been destroyed by a kind of cultural accident, historical accident that our school systems have settled on a traditional curriculum which uh, destroys rather than enhances people's mathematical intelligence. And as a culture then which is in the process of losing its mathematics, it's very difficult to bring it into a new research project or cultural experiment. So that was one idea I had. Well, don't forget about mathematics. Another one is um, India. It's a culture which I'm very fond of. It means a lot to me. And I think they have more of a connection between scientific experience, uh, scientific uh, practice, and uh, paranormal experience, psychedelics, meditation, altered states, and, and so on. There is more okay to do this. So there might be certain experiments that you might want to do could actually be funded, could be accepted, could progress more easily in uh, India than in the United States. So I think partnership with Indian uh, scientists and philosophers would also be valuable. So those are my two ideas for you.